hi guys welcome to another video in this video we are going to take a look at new async await apis in ios 15 and mac os 12 monterey so uh, this async await is different from uh, the dispatch queues that you used to use uh, in the sense that whenever you await a, fun a, a asynchronous function the thread will not block and the task that you uh, await will be submitted to the system and the thread that it was called on will be free to do anything so you can call await uh, on main thread and main thread will not be blocked So let's create a state image and we will optionally show that image in the UI when we have an image downloaded from a URL. Now let's download the image in on appear block. So on appear is called whenever the view is shown on the screen. So we will uh, call the URL session async API that is new in iOS 15 and Mac OS 12. And we can await that await the data task because it's a synchronous task. As you can see, Xcode is complaining that you cannot call a wait on a block that is synchronous. So on appear was uh, there from before and it was implemented as a synchronous function. So you cannot really ca call a wait on a synchronous function because that would block. So that's why we'll have to create a, a sync block here that is new in iOS 15 and macOS 12. And then this async uh, block will just detach a task that can be awaited. As you can see, the new uh, URL session API to download data from a URL 
uh, can throw and that's the way it returns an error if something uh, goes wrong as opposed to uh, the completion and the an error parameter in the completion handler that used to be there before in the blog based api so this is all synchronous code uh, that we usually write and you can see that we are able to download the image and display it successfully now let's uh, get rid of the async block that we created uh, and use the newly introduced task for swift ui uh, that is called only once uh, when the view is loaded so instead of on appear that is synchronous we will call task uh, block that is implemented as a synchronous task so as you can see like this is also called on main thread and we await uh, for the url session to finish and even if we wait for the url session to finish the main thread is never blocked um, so this is a clear distinction from the dispatch apis because if you do a sync uh, here using dispatch apis the main thread would have been blocked but here you just submitted the task that is url session task to the system and yielded the control from here and main thread is free to do anything uh, in the meantime so whenever like url session is done with its task system uh, gives control back to the main thread and it continues from that point so basically it works by yielding control instead of blocking the thread Now let's test this code out with some breakpoints so we can see uh, it is really synchronous code. As you can see uh, all three breakpoints are hit one after another so the control flow is just top to bottom. Finally, let's try creating multiple such tasks to download the images and see what happens. As you can see, all the tasks are running in parallel and it's still not blocking the main thread. Now let's move this uh, uh, URL session in its own function, but we will create an asynchronous function uh, to download the image so you can await it inside the task.
as you can see to call an async function we have to use await keyword so that is how you make an asynchronous function and call it using await and our app still works the same